Now, let's say that you are using Microsoft Forms to submit a quiz, or let's say you want to collect some feedback or some information, and you have published that link online, and responders are, have started to respond using your Microsoft Forms, okay? Now, as soon as you receive a response, you want to send an email to the responder. How you can achieve that by Power Automate, we are going to discuss that in this video. So keep watching and stay tuned. Well, if you have been following my channel, um, I usually post uh, videos quite regularly on topics related to Microsoft Dynamics 365. And on daily basis, I get a lot of requests and communication. So what I decided is that I need a, a feedback mechanism or at least uh, to my esteemed subscribers, uh, you know, provide them with a link where they can submit their request. And based on that, I can create my upcoming videos, right? So recently I posted a community post. And by the way, this is uh, the name of my channel. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Okay. So, um, I recently posted a post in my community over here and it's just a simple banner where I have provided a, a link over here to uh, Microsoft Forms that I created in the background and either people can use this link or they can scan if they're using a phone they can scan this QR code and start filling up the application. So for example if you click on this link it will take you to this particular page where this is created in Microsoft Forms. And it's a simple, uh, you know, page where I ask about the name, your email, which uh, the, you know, the video that you're requesting for, what is it related to? Is it for uh, 365 CE, Business Central, FinOps, Office 365 or something else? And a multi-line text over here where you can provide your description and then click on submit. And to be honest, this has been very useful because now I have started getting, you know, a lot of requests uh, using this and uh, I can see a pattern over there, like which are the common topics that uh, my subscribers are looking for, which will actually help me in deciding what is the next video that I should make. So I also wanted a mechanism where as soon as a responder or uh, response using this form, um, I should be able to send an email automatically, um, you know, for a confirmation saying that, hey, we have received your uh, submission and this is what you have submitted. So to be able to achieve that, I used a combination of Microsoft Forms and Power Automate. Now, I will not be using my actual account over here because this is live. I will try to use my demo environment and we will create it from the scratch and see how we can achieve this. All right, so here I am in my Office 365 environment. Now let me just go ahead and create a form first, all right? So over here, let's just select the forms application and click on new form. So let's just give it a title. Um, well, let's say in this case, I want to collect information on what is the new topic on which you want me to create a video for, all right? So let's just do something around that. So submit a video topic, okay? And if you want, you can enter description or you can now start creating your columns. So if I want to create a new column, let's say I want the person to first enter his name, um, then I can say that is the name. And if I want to make this field a mandatory field, I can click on required, okay? And uh, let's just enter one more text field saying I want your email as well and this is required as well so let me just add one more field saying what it's an option field this time and uh, the title is what is it related to so related to so option one is dc5 customer engagement option two is um, let's say d365 business central uh, we can add one more option saying d365 FinOps, or maybe if you want some other topic as well, that is possible as well, right? And I can say that these fields are, you need to select one of these fields, so it is required. And then at the end, we can add one more text field, which is, um, let's say a description of what you want uh, the topic on, okay? Um, so this can be a little more descriptive, so I would say, it is, it is required as well as it can be a long answer, all right? 
So once I have done this, my form is actually ready. And as soon as I start getting responses, I will see those responses over here. Okay, so um, I can go ahead and click on share. And over here, you can choose to shorten the URL. Now, this is the URL that you have, you will share um, to the public where they can use the link and you know start filling up the application. But uh, you need to be make sure that you know you need to select the right option over here. So I would say anybody can respond. Okay, not people in my organization. If I select this, then they need to have an Office 365 account or who are in my you know, tenant or an organization, they can only uh, do that. There's another option like, like specific people in your organization or there can be anyone. So I will just choose anyone over here. So it's global. I will shorten the URL. I can copy this URL. And now if I open this, you will see that this is the form that the public will see, okay? If they click on that link. All right, so just one more thing. Um, apart from this link, you can also um, check a QR code. So you can click on this and download this QR code and share that as well, like I had used in my banner. Or you can use an embedding code. So if you want to embed that in your website or blog, you can, you can do that as well. Or you can send an email, okay? So in this case, we are just going to use this link. In this case, our form is ready. Now, what I want to do here with Power Automate is that as soon as I start getting responses based on this email uh, address available over here, I want to, you know, send an automatic email notification saying that we have, you know, received your request and we are working on that. Okay, so here I am in my Power Automate environment. So let me just go ahead and create a new flow. But let me just see if, uh, you know, if there are any templates available so that I can reuse them. So I go ahead, click on new flow, and then I want to base it on a template. So let me just search for forms over here. I can see that there is a template available over here. So it says send an email to a responder when response submitted in Microsoft Forms. So I can just reuse this and tweak it a little bit to uh, you know achieve my goal. So let me just click on this. And here you can see that the template is already available. All I need to do is provide the necessary credentials for these connectors. So if I click on the add sign, this at the moment will automatically um, take the credentials of, uh, you know, the Microsoft Office account that I am, uh, you know, signed in as, that is the admin account over here. And if I choose to add my Outlook account, it will take the same account as well. So I can click on continue and here I am, uh, you know, basically everything is done for me and I just need to tweak it a little bit. And uh, most of the things are already there. And what I can do is uh, just edit this in this flow designer. So let's just go with the first step when a new response is submitted using what? Using the form that we created, all right? So um, we have need to provide the form ID. And in this case, the form ID is submit a video topic. That was the title of our um, forms that we created. All right, so that has been selected. So as soon as um, the response is collected from here, so we need to get the response details. So in this case, it's the unique identifier of the form and we can select the form ID again. And over here, a dynamic um, field has been selected for us as a response ID. Then it checks a condition if the response is not equal to anonymous. But in this case, um, let us just say email is not equal to anonymous. Let's say because we uh, have made email as required. So we are pretty sure that the email will not be blank. So uh, let's just take this condition. So if this is true, it will go on and send an uh, email to the responder. So, okay. So in two, it has taken the responder's email ID. So what this is, is uh, the responder's email. And in the subject, so in this case, we can just change the subject to thank you for your submission uh, made on, let's say, submission time. Okay. So we have some default configuration in the body, but we do not want that. Well, you can actually go ahead and create a fancy HTML response, but we would like to make a very simple um, body over here. So let's just say, I would say, dear. Um, 
the subscriber name or the responder's name so in this case i can choose a dynamic uh, id which is name that's the field where we are collecting the name of the responder and we'll put a comma and we can say uh, thank you for your submission and the topic that you submitted is and over here we can say choose the description field where we have asked to describe the topic right over here and then say best regards and your name well you can feel free to write a good amount of you know a catchy uh, body as well for this demo purpose i've just made it a little simple with a combination of text and dynamic fields uh, well additionally you can also click on show advanced options and you can do some advanced things like you can provide you know send as cc or uh, bcc copy you can add some attachments as well and reply to let's let's say for example this email will go uh, using my office account that I have provided credentials for. But let's say if a person wants to respond and you want that response to automatically go to a separate email ID, you can provide that over here in reply to. Okay, but we are not going to do all that and we are just, uh, you know, finishing up our design over here. And I think we are good to go now. So if I click on save, this should save the flow. And I can also run a flow checker and there are no errors well now it's time for us to go ahead and do some testing okay so let me just go back to my flow so here you can see that there is no run history at the moment and uh, let us just go to our forms well this was the link that was provided so let's just say you have shared this link on your website or wherever and now responders are trying to respond okay all right so provide your name well that is Sharma, provide your email. I will just use a demo email account and I want a topic on Dynamic CE. And let me say, would you create a video on security roles or something like that? All right. And I can click on submit. So here I will get a notification saying that yeah, your response is submitted. But additionally, the flow should not trigger and send an email. So let's just see if the flow has been triggered. So if I click on refresh over here, well, it says that it has failed. OK, let us just go ahead and see what has failed. OK, let's just try to do some debugging over here. So in the error details, it says um, input parameters, this, this, this has been failed. I can just go to that step that over here it has failed and it has got stuck over here. And then it is saying that the two, the recipient address is coming as anonymous. All right, so maybe we have not selected the right field. Okay, so let's just go ahead and edit this again. And in this case, instead of choosing responders email, let me just select the email. All right, that has been provided by the person. So click on save. And instead of, you know, submitting the form again, I can test it using the previous run. So I will just click on test over here, click automatically test it with a recently used trigger. I will use the failed data and try to test it again and see if it has run. So now it's running and now it has run successfully and I can go to my flow and it has run successfully. You can see that the response that I had submitted um, through this email and everything. Well, the flow says that email has gone through, but let us just go ahead and check our email that we have provided. So in this case, I will just click on my email account and see if I have received a thank you email. All right. So over here we can see that we have received a automatic response based on the flow that we created. So it has responded to the same email ID that I had provided on the forms. And it says, dear 
my name Parish Sharma thank you for the submission and the topic that you submitted is the whatever I provide in the details field okay so why don't you go ahead and try it for yourself and see if you can use forms with Power Automate bye for now